As some of you have probably already seen from my IG, I'm here in Asia traveling all across. I'm just gonna go ahead and say right now because you guys see I'm back staying consistent with the videos, but we needed an algorithm to you know help your boy out a little bit because I took some time off, okay? So before this video starts, go ahead and give your boy a thumbs up, hit that sub button if you haven't already. I'm gonna go ahead and kick off this video. The Asia tour begins, let's go. Come here. You good boy, okay? Landed in Taipei, connecting to Hong Kong. I don't even know if I'll make it. <laughs> Welcome to Hong Kong, son. 11.21 in the morning, but LA time, it is 8.21 p.m. So obviously you guys know jet lag is no joke, but the first thing I know I gotta do is keep my water intake up. I'm gonna get a little stretch in. The most important thing with jet lag is just trying to get adjusted as quick as possible. So at this time in LA, normally I'd be having my coffee, so I'm gonna go have my little coffee, and then we get a little morning stretch in to get the day started, and we're gonna go get some dim sum, keep the water intake up. Let's go, Hong Kong baby, Asia vlogs. Yeah, no Hong Kong. That's how we get over the jet lag, right, chef? There you go. I do one minute loose, one minute hard. Use your yoga breathing, chef. That's what I'm doing. Yoga breathing. Slow heart, rate. Yeah. Two more. 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 Two Oh yeah, right there. One of the things that I'm most excited about being in Southeast Asia, now you guys know I follow an animal-based diet pretty much, you know, 80% of the time. Now obviously when I'm like traveling, it's really hard to do that. Like right now we're about to go for dim sum, but I'm just telling you guys right now, these lychees are insane right now. If you haven't tried lychees before, just make sure you get them when they're sweet, because when they're not sweet, they kind of give you cotton mouth and they're kind of gross. Rocking the Sage cargo shorts. About to go get some lunch, but of course, first meal, lunchtime, what better way to do it here in Hong Kong than it being dim sum. So that's what we're about to go do, let's go. Up dim sum. What do you think of the food, chef? I really loved it. Authentic style, Cantonese. Yeah. And also, you know, when it's fried, it's not oily, and it's crispy. You don't taste, uh, you know, that kind of awful oil. Yeah. Fried so many times. Okay, so what is this candy? I grew up with this when I was a little boy, and this candy is made in China. Well, you're in Hong Kong, you're part of China, and you know, the taste. It tastes like a condensed milk. It's like a, a soft condensed milk candy. And also, you know the best part? What? They have a little rice paper. A lot of people say, you know, they try to you know, push that little rice piece of this little paper away. But actually, you know, you can eat it. Everything. Check it out, guys. The local juice bar right here, Fat Girl Juice Bar. Basically, this is a animal diet heaven right here for juice. Look, it's got every single type of juice that you could have and it tells you everything that it's good for them. Again, another part of the world. Made it to the peak. I'm not gonna front like I haven't been here before. I feel like every time I come to Hong Kong, I come to the peak. We saw it, time to go. <laughs> We've never been here before, right? <laughs> You guys know I'm really big on papaya, so I'm about to go start my morning with a little run, but first, peeling some papayas in the room. Shout out to my dad for these. Basically, the easiest way to peel a papaya, guys, peel all the skin off with a knife, whatever, and then you just take a spoon and have this side face down, and you just lightly brush like this, and all the seeds will come out. And that's what it'll look like once you cut it all up. Every other day or every few days, you guys should have it if you want to really help your digestive. It will really help with, you know, regulating all that shit, no pun intended. That is how you cut yourself a proper <laughs> mixture of a fruit plate. Pretty good cutting skills, would you say, Chef? Well, especially using knife like that. That's what I'm very impressed. That was a light four miles in the bag today. Start the day. That's how we get over the jet lag. I'm gonna say something real quick, though. For everyone out there that runs on a treadmill, that shit is way harder than running outside. It feels like it just goes by so much slower. Definitely even recommend like for the mental and shit, like the mental benefits of running outside versus the treadmill or like literally no comparison. Health and wellness, baby. Gotta stay lean, gotta stay fresh. 
but at the same time, keep it humble around here. Yeah, I know what's all going on, baby. I'm with the rest of the day. And one little thing I just want to mention, I feel like I've said this in other videos before, but like obviously when you're on vacation, you're not going to be eating the same way that you'd be eating back home. You don't have similar access to the same foods you'd be eating. You can't cook at home, all that kind of stuff. And it's also really important, like while you're experiencing different cities or different cultures to try the food. Don't be one of those people who like just eats fucking dried chicken breast and rice and like broccoli and like does that like plain ass boring ass meal prep. Like you're missing out on so many amazing things when it comes to food. So it's important to always be experimental with your diet and like try different foods and enjoy foods, burgers, fries, all this and that, but obviously always within moderation. That's why it's so important to just get your exercise in, specifically cardio, you know, like going and crushing weights. Okay, yeah, obviously that's important to maintain your strength and stuff like that but it's so much more important to be exercising your heart and exerting more calories because obviously when you're traveling, you're eating foods, chances are that are higher in calories, so you wanna make sure you're burning those calories off. That way you get to enjoy all the food that you're trying. It's a morning thing and I'm finna go on gonna eat my yeah. You already know what the fuck going on right now, yeah? Forgive the cringe moments, but you know, I gotta show you guys what I'm rocking out here. We got the basic tea. Vintage black basic tea. Why do I call it a two pack? Because two come in a pack. We got the vintage black as well as the creme. So if you guys want one of these teas to come with a creme one, hit the link down below. Link in the description, you guys can cop. I'm wearing a size L. This is how a size large fits. But yeah, we're at the Hong Kong Cafe for Brecky. It's fired up, baby. Well, this is a typical Hong Kong cafe. In the morning, that's where you get your bun, your sweet buns. And after that, you go in there, you have macaroni and ham broth. But but this is actually instant noodle. That's what it is. You know in Hong Kong, is, uh, has a lot of like an instant kind of, everybody's busy. Convenience, efficiency, timing, and also, you know what? Get to the point, just get it done. You know who would love this? Kai. And mom too. Kai and mom would love this, right? Not beat this lounge. Check it out. It's fucking huge in here. We got so much different shit. I'm en route to Thailand right now, specifically Phuket. But I'm in the Cathay Pacific business class lounge right now, and this shit is lit. They have so many options. Check it out. Dude's back there making noodles in the lounge, firing it up. A little classic Chinese bun. A little bit of lo mein, a little cappuccino. Can't say that these go together, but fuck it, we're going to fuck it. Pretty fire options, if I must say, here at Cathay Pacific Lounge. See, so shout out Cathay Pacific for actually doing what a lounge should truly feel like. This is what a proper experience should be like. I know the fuck going on, but pulling up the Phuket, aka bucket. Officially arrived in Thailand, swatty motherfucking car. Y'all already know what the fuck going on. Y'all already know what it is. Just pulled up to the Amun Puri swatty cop, but it ain't no motherfucking cap in it. Be I already know what the fuck going. On. I'm gonna show you guys the drip real quick. Swatty cop, welcome to Thailand, baby. At the Amun Puri, you already know what it is. Of course, gotta give you guys a room tour because it's too beautiful here to not. A little private dining area, with cool vibes. Make our way out into the room. Oh yeah. We smell like lemongrass freshness, baby. Come on. When magic happens. Little villa vibes. Bathroom vibes. Come on in, check it out. Great tropical. Basically the plan is just kick it here for the next few days and fire it up, baby. It's time to go get some lunch by the pool. Not too shabby if I do say so myself, people. I'm telling you guys. The crazy thing about this place is I know the room that I'm staying in costs about 900 US dollars a night, which, you know, is a lot of money obviously, but yo, know, for what you get in the US for 900 a night versus what you get here, no comparison. Just does not get any better than this. You know, I can't help but think about like 
when I'm in LA, I'm grinding, trying to grow the business, make money, fucking waking up early, working hard, building a strong mindset. It's to come and get to places like this and just feel like you earned it and you can just really chill and enjoy it, you know? And the great thing about it too is that it does not stop here. I still got plenty more travel plans. Gonna be heading to Singapore, gonna be traveling all across Japan. I'm kinda just winging this trip right now. I don't really have any set plans or anything like that. So link down below if you guys wanna cop some gear. And maybe you wanna cop a little hoodie for your girl or ladies. If you're watching this, you wanna cop some for your men. Or maybe you just wanna look fresh and cop some for yourself. Hit the link down below, link in the description. Shop now, Trinity, I know what the fuck going on. So yeah, the next video that I'm gonna be posting, I'm gonna be here in Thailand, I'm gonna be exploring today as well the gym here bro is so friggin fire literally probably the most fire gym out of any resort I've ever been to so I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some workout stuff and maybe some boxing tips and shit like that maybe might even get a little bit of Muay Thai in all right you guys can see my kicks but yeah I love you guys all so much thank you for continuing to watch and support I'll see you guys very soon peace